The lake has enormous cultural, economic, and environmental benefits to the state. An update now to a story Fox 13 News first reported yesterday. As the Great Salt Lake drops to a record low, what's left on the lake bed could be hazardous to your health. As Fox 13's Ben Winslow reports, there is more talk about what can be done to save the lake. This is how things are here on Antelope Island. I'm in the marina, which really isn't much of one. As the Great Salt Lake continues to shrink, there is a push to do more to protect it. It's now exposed more than 750 square miles of lake bed. The Great Salt Lake has dropped to the historic low, and as the drought and warmer climate goes on, it will keep shrinking. What's left behind in the dry lake bed? There are several contaminants of potential concern. And uh, arsenic is one of those contaminants. University of Utah Atmospheric Sciences Professor Kevin Perry has been studying the lake bed. He says northern Utah's air quality could be impacted as the lake continues to shrink. We would have to be exposed quite frequently in order for it to pose a potential health concern. But that is only part of the issue. The particulate matter that comes off of the lake uh, in and of itself, regardless of its chemical composition, uh, is unhealthy when the concentrations reach high enough. It's tied to our air quality. It's tied to our snowpack. I mean, even something as simple as a soda can that somebody picks up has magnesium from the Great Salt Lake. Representative Timothy Hawks has run bills to protect the Great Salt Lake. He says one thing that could help. We need greater legal recognition for the value of water that's left in the lake. In the eyes of the law, even today, all that water that reaches the lake is considered wasted. And the system's really set up to kind of get everybody to use the water before it gets to the lake so that it's bone dry. Well, that's a problem. Throughout its history, water that ends up in the Great Salt Lake has been determined to have no beneficial use, even though it generates over a billion a year in mineral extraction, brine shrimp, and tourism. Representative Hawks believes they can balance water needs upstream and still protect the lake. We have to incorporate the lake in the conversation of diversions. The environmental group Friends of Great Salt Lake says they support the change in approach. We can um, protect health and we can protect a system, again, that's hemispherically significant, economically valuable. The Utah State Legislature could take up a bill to change the legal definition of Great Salt Lake water when it meets next year. At Antelope Island, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.